Hello guys, this is Honest Thoughts, your one stop to movie and anime news. So today we are going to talk about the Cars 3 trailer. It has come out and it looks good. I'm gonna try and guess what the story of Cars 3 will be. So stay tuned. You are about to become the biggest brand in racing. <laughs> movie deals, infomercials, product endorsements. <laughs> you think you're famous now? <laughs> We'll be rich beyond belief. Lightning McQueen has become a brand. He's famous. So uh, many companies are approaching him and they're telling him that they can make him even more famous, even more of a brand, I guess. And they want him to quit racing. And I think this is going to be the main point of the uh, movie. Uh, do, does he take the movie? Does he take the offer of being uh, produced by a big company earning money or does he race? As you can see later in the trailer, I think the companies don't want him to race anymore. Uh, they want him to just uh, keep his legacy alive. So let's dive back into the trailer, shall we? Mr. Sterling, what is this about? Your legacy. Every time you lose, you damage yourself. I'm sorry. Your racing days are coming to an end. This race today wasn't his last. I decide when I'm done. How you feeling? I can't go out on the track and do the same old thing. It won't work. It's futile to resist change, man. You know what I'd do? What? I don't know. I got nothing. I think this major scene is going to come at the first half of the movie when he's this idea of uh, stop racing altogether and he will try to ask Mater and his friends what he should do. And I think that uh, Mercury, uh, Mercury McQueen is currently losing a lot of races because of this new race car that has emerged and he has lost his will to race. He has lost the way and he thinks he can't win anymore. That's why he goes back to Radiator Spring and trains a lot. And I think that uh, his, one of his fans, he gives up on racing but one of his fans inspired him to come back. And we can see that later in the trailer. I am so excited to train you. I like a challenge. <laughs> I call you my senior project. On your mark, get set, and go! Whoa, 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 whoa! Huh? The beach ate me. Jackson Storm set a new record today when he pulled off the fastest lap ever recorded. How you feeling? Have you seen the latest record Storm's been setting? Have you given any thought to retire? McQueen, over here! This is my last chance, Cruz. Last! If I lose, I never get to do this again! Don't fear failure. Be afraid of not having the chance. You have the chance. I used to watch you on TV, flying through the air. You seemed so fearless. I wish I knew what that felt like. You'll never be as fast as Storm. But you can be smarter than him. The racing is the reward, not the stuff. Storm's chances of winning are 95.2%. Wow! Go, McQueen! This is how I think Cut 3 is gonna pan out. Mercury is gonna sign a deal with a big racing brand and uh, they will uh, make merchandise and make a lot of money uh, but uh, when the time comes and a new racing car arrives in the scene and beats Mercury very badly uh, the company will tell Mercury to pull out of the races and uh, Mercury will given a chance to have one last race against this car and uh, McQueen will uh, go to find trainers for himself, compete in many different races, learn new things. Uh, as the trailer said, uh, you can no, never not be faster than him, but you can know more than him. Uh, so he will acquire knowledge and experience and then come back to the racing scene. I think the crash will happen in the first half of the movie and that will uh, set up Mercury, uh, McQueen's uh, later comeback really well. If you like the video, please, please.